Hello Forex traders, the next trading week is going to be quite busy. Hello Bob, which events next week is going to affect the US dollar? For the dollar in the early part of the week, we're going to be looking at retail sales and industrial production figures. Retail sales would be particularly important, particularly when considering this upward trend in consumer prices uh, that seems to be defying the Fed's transitionary view. So expect any weak consumption figures to test the theory. Midweek, the focus will then shift to Philly Fed manufacturing and jobless claims figures on Thursday. Uh, expect the jobless claims figures to garner the greatest interest. And which events will affect the Euro and the British Pound? For the Eurozone, we have trade data for the Eurozone in the early part of the week um, with third quarter GDP numbers. These are second estimates for the Eurozone. And wrapping things up will be inflation figures for October. These are finalized numbers to so expect any upward revisions to provide euro support. For the pound, it's a busy week. We have claim account and unemployment rate figures in the early part of the week. Focus will then shift to inflation and then retail sales figures at the end of the week. Again, what impact is inflation having on consumer spending? All of these numbers will have a material impact on market sentiment towards the Bank of England's monetary policy outlook. For the commodity currencies like Looney, Alsi and Kiwi, how it's going there? For the Looney, we're going to be looking at manufacturing and wholesale sales figures in the early part of the week. Key stats in the week, however, will be inflation numbers midweek and retail sales figures at the end of the week. For the Aussie dollar, wage growth figures for the third quarter, RBA's highlighted wage growth as key to any shift in monetary policy, so expect plenty of interest there. For the Kiwi dollar, it's wholesale inflation figures. Again, we're going to be looking at these numbers to see what impact cost pressures are having on the Kiwi economy. And what are the major events for the Asian market? For the Japanese yen, relatively busy week. We're going to be looking at third quarter GDP numbers, then trade data and inflation figures. Expect the GDP and trade figures to garner the greatest interest. For the Chinese yuan, we have industrial production and fixed asset investment. Industrial production figures will be key. We've seen the numbers continue to weaken in recent months. So another weak set of numbers will raise concerns over the economic recovery. And what about geopolitical events next week? On the geopolitical risk front, nothing new to report. Just need to continue monitoring chatter from Capitol Hill and obviously uh, news updates from China. Uh, there's continued tension within the region, but whether that spills over remains to be seen. So just need to keep monitoring that. Thank you, Bob. As always, a pleasure talking to you. Traders, please keep watching the series of the FX Week Ahead with our top expert in the field, Bob Mason from FX Empire.